Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? Back to work after a long weekend. Should be fun. I have to get lots and lots of stuff done, but that's okay. Busy's good. Keeps my brain going. And when you're old, you got to keep your brain going. <laughs> Looks like a beautiful day out there. I'm debating changing shoes and walking to work. I think that might be best. But the clock is ticking, isn't it? That's the issue right there. I should have gotten up earlier. <laughs> that was supposed to be one of my challenges this week, but I have not risen to that challenge. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Oh, it's good to have you here. It's good to see you. I'm imagining, of course. I have a few empty chairs around the table. This is how dreamers started, you know. The kids were sleeping, and I just wanted to chat with somebody about how my day was going. So I picked you. <laughs> uh, sleep was fitful. Lots of things going around inside my head. Um, lots of things. It wasn't bad. It's just thinking. And I was like, uh, this is not good. And my body was exhausted and sleeping. But my brain was like, oh, I'm not going to turn off for you. I was like, oh, great. I have officially hit that stage of life, have I? <laughs> Yay! I won't do well with it, I tell you that. I need my sleep. I need my sleep. I was in bed a good time. Um, yeah. But I need my sleep. I think our bodies need and our minds need rest. I had my tea last night and yeah, I I don't know why I didn't settle properly, but some days are like that, right? Some days are like that and the next day we carry on and we go to bed extra early. <laughs> but I do pray for peace for you today that your spirit can connect with the Holy Spirit. You can put your feet flat on the ground and you can breathe today. Sometimes going back in after a break, it hits us smack in the face and we feel that we can't breathe because we can't catch up on everything. Excuse me for the hiccup. Can't catch up on everything that is sitting on our desk. But you've got this. You have what it takes. And you needed the break. So don't kill yourself trying to get back at it. Do your job. Work hard. But that's all you can do. You're not a machine. You are not um, a computer. You work with computers, I'm sure. <laughs> Some form or another. But just do what you can do. And remember, your value does not lie in how much you produce today. It doesn't. Your value was with you when you were sleeping. Your value was with you when you're sitting on the toilet. Your value is there. It's inherent value because you've been created in the image of God. You are amazing. Simply because of who you are. You don't owe anybody anything. You don't. You might owe them an apology if you've been rude. But I mean, if you have not wronged someone, you don't owe them an explanation for how you live your life. What shirt you choose, what earrings you choose, how you cut your hair. <laughs> That's between you and God. 
And when you take care of this relationship, everything else irons out. Oh, there's bumps along the way and I'm not trying to be so positive like, oh, if I just meditate enough, I'm going to be fine and everybody else around me will be. That's not what I mean. And if that's how you take it, then you don't know me. <laughs> that's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> I just mean you've been created inherently wonderful. You're wonderfully made and we can look at you in awe and go, wow did a great job when he made you that's all I'm saying so keep that in mind front and center as you go about your day and no matter how Monday-ish this Tuesday might be we give Mondays a hard rap don't we no matter what today holds you are inherently valuable and special so keep that in mind. You're valuable enough. I try to tell my kids you're valuable enough to use good language. You're valuable enough to be kind to others. You are valuable enough to show God's love to others. You're valuable enough to fight for justice. You're valuable enough to, like, if you understand your value, all of a sudden, all these other things start to fall in place. Because if you've been made in the image of God, then you have a quest and a desire to be like him. And he's got a lot going on. Yes, he does. So as you go about your day, remember your value and dream a few sweet dreams, okay? All right. Happy Monday, Tuesday, for all of those who had yesterday off. And happy Tuesday to everybody else. Have some sweet dreams. Bye.